It's also competitive. It's Raksu against Raksu, Redknapp against Redknapp. It's Mo against Usain. 19. Veron looking for O'Carroll. Right, trusting David Seaman, and Usain Bolt was almost in there. He just wasn't quite quick enough. Well won by Comston. This is Robbie Keane. In towards Bolt again! Well, a high jumper he's not. Great ball into the box. Usain Bolt with his thumb up there. Just peeled off Phil Neville. Phil Neville was nowhere. Couldn't get off the ground, Phil. It's a ball run by Stevenson. And a really good ball towards Ben. It's great keeping by Van der Sar. Kept alive by Lynch. Just over the head of Mers. Damien Lewis will maintain the momentum. Ollie Mers. Here's Mark Wright. Danny Murphy. Here's Damien Lewis. Oh, between the legs of Martin Constant. Hooked away by Fongo. To the game. Great play from Stevenson. Great ball. Van der Sar was sharp off his line. You can just see Lynch here. Can he pick Ollie Mers out just over at the cross? A good play from England. Van der Sar heads it. By 300 children with clean water for a month. Basic human need. Here's Darren Bent for the first real chance for England. And he's taken it well. Just rolls England into the lead. Less than 12 minutes played. And uh, Darren Bent, who spent the second half of the season playing in the Championship, for Burton Albion, it hardly seems fair, does it? But he's got the England goal. Great vision from Ollie Murs there to pick the pass out. And coolness personified there from Darren Bent playing the championship last year. Great first touch there to drag it back onto his left foot and put it into an empty net. I think Kevin Peterson thought he was out. He looked like he was going down the tunnel. England lead. Veron slides in on 90,000 in the Bernabeu for the uh, Arsenal legends. Here's Yaya Toure. All the space for Veron. Oh, he's brought down by Farrow. Was he? Oh, no, he's... It's a dive. <laughs> Veron's not having it. But Mark Clattenburg, who has refereed the Champions League final, I was pretty convinced that Samo Farrow was the innocent party there. Oh, I think he's gone down to his there, Veron. Just going to look here. Yeah, it's a good decision from Mark Clattenburg. Right to Mers. Between the legs of O'Carroll. Bent. Right to deliver again, and to deliver well, and it's a really good cross, and just then scores. Turned in at the far post, first celebrity goal of the night. He scored by F2 freestyler Jess Lynch. Good build-up play. What a fantastic ball for Mark Wright. Lynch there, and that back post just got away from... Dan Carter, first time volley, good technique. Great start for England, 2-0 up, Clive, after 17 minutes. If you've never seen the F2 boys, uh, and Billy Wingrove was going to play, actually, for England, against uh, Jess Lynch, who was originally down. Ben, Mers trying to turn. Toure can bring it away. Everybody wants the early one for this man to chase. Now, stretching his legs, Bolt against Farah. Bolt turns well. Ferron, and now Keane. Couldn't quite gather it in, Robbie Keane. And it's great to see these two wonderful athletes together. Bolt going all the way himself. And just couldn't quite squeeze it past 
David Seaman. He was making some very good runs, you saying, Bolt. Driving into the fence there, Murphy with a good tackle. Turek. Keane. Carter is waiting. Left footed cross, Robbie Keane. Stepped away from Brown. Seaman comes out. Keane's beaten him. And the World 11 have replied through Robbie Keane, Ireland's all time leading goal scorer, has got the first of the night for the World 11. It's 2 1. It's a magnificent touch from Robbie Keane. Dan Carter picks him out. Just watch this now. Sold Wes Brown. Just got there before David Seaman. That first touch was brilliant. And there, got a bit of fortune. But another goal for that man, Robbie Keane. Outstanding career. Scored at World Cups, scored at European Championship Finals. And now he's scored at Soccer A. Prior to the match, the World 11 might just have the better legends. Here is Keane, one of them. In towards Bolt, he's got a real chance, he scored! Offside, oh, you spoil sport linesman. Don't you know who it is? I'll tell you what, it was a fantastic finish. Robbie Keane and Bolt, yeah, he's offside once again, but just the quality, the finish there. Brilliant finish. And if ever it can be said that the player didn't need to go early, that player <laughs> didn't need to go early. Stam coming in, Phil Martin Comston this time. That's a really good ball, and O'Carroll's there, and it's first time finish. He's just wide. It's a great run from O'Carroll. What a ball from Comston in the middle of the park. Goes with his right foot. Has to flick it in that near post. Could have gone with his left, but sliding challenge again from Comston. To right. Bolt wants it. There's no flag this time. It's Usain Bolt. Oh, he smashed it too, didn't he? he? Smashed it wide, I'm afraid, but he really got hold of it. Perfect position. Just gets across more far out on his left foot. Goes for that far corner. It's a decent strike. It just curls away from that. Far post, so close from Usain Bolt. They've got a dozen Olympic gold medals between them. Let's it run. There's Brown. Alert intercepts. Miles Stevenson. On for Darren Bent to chase. And he's got there ahead of Edwin van der Sar. He's been pushed very wide. Farah's in the box. Mers is in the box. Bent back to Mers. Still come for Mark Wright, though. A shot. It's a great ball, great run, and I'll tell you what this needed. Remember Mark Hughes in the Cup Winners' Cup for Manchester United 1991 against Barcelona when he smashed in from that position. And then Oli Murs edge of the box just kind. Get hold of it, and Mark Wright with the left foot past the post. It's not like you to praise Mark Hughes. And he's got the ball again, Verón with the shot, 2-2. Two -two. Juan Sebastián Verón, big beaming smile. That tells you something about how much it means to these guys. Not quite such a big smile from his manager, but from two down, World Eleven have squared it. Yes, a good run from Robbie Keane, good ball from Stamp, he's onside. Just see a bit of skill here, sends more Farah the wrong way. Actually does well, more Farah, to get back and make the tackle. But then Brown and Neville, a bit slow getting out. Good turn through the legs of Wes Brown into that far corner. Seaman, no chance. Great finish, 2-2. Two -two. He's actually gone back to his first club, Estudiantes in La Plata, Argentina. Once the best. Most just beyond Jamie Redknapp, who's come on for England. Now Robert Pires. It's an interesting ball, Clivert! And 
Great stop by Harewood. <laughs> Decided to punch it at the end, I think. And maybe dropped it. Here's David Harewood in action. Yeah, done well instantly, but then... Popped out of his grasp. And the uh, host of Take Me Out and the picture show with Keith Lemon, Paddy McGuinness. Here's Jez Lynch. This is Vassell. Yes, great footwork from Lynch. The way he moves the ball on the outside of his right foot onto his inside and then the no-look pass. Don't think you'll forget that goal here in the derby, wasn't it? 4-3 in the last minute for Manchester United. Clive, here's Bolt. He's gone for goal and he's hit the crossbar. Cole can't quite catch up with it. Usain Bolt is getting closer. He didn't get he didn't get over the line his last race, did he? He pulled up injured. Here's Pires. Throwing it through to Seydorf and now Clivert. Clarence Seydorf has got on and scored and World Eleven lead for the first time. Clarence Seydorf, the Dutch international, who scored a hat trick the last time the rest of the world won and four years ago has scored his first. Great link up play, wasn't it? Cliver Seydorf, great names of football. Shrugs off Wes Brown, puts it past Harewood. Seydorf succeeds where Usain couldn't quite. Looks up, just dinks it to that near post. It beats Harewood. Oh, I'll tell you what, Clive. This. Oh, the first angle looks like it's all over. The second one doesn't, Clive. VAR. The, Rus the Russian linesman said no goal. Oh, he's giving it straight to Redknapp. And Jamie Redknapp looks down at the turf accusingly. He thinks it got a bad bobble. Yeah, I thought when he looked up there, Redknapp, he was just going to go for the chip. Look, he's miles off his line, Burn. Fantastic career, Jamie Redknapp. Just thought he would have looked up there and just... Chip Burn, who was miles out of his goal. Good opportunity there for Redknapp. He'd be disappointed. So Harry's just doing a bit of reorganising. And here comes Eric Cantona back at Old Trafford. Unscheduled. Unrivaled. He's just so cool, isn't he? Absolute class. What an absolute legend. Right, it's ball in. Oh, and Burns dropped it. And Oli Murs is never, ever going to score a goal at Soccer Row. Well, we've seen them miss at the start of the programme from last time soccer aid there. Oh, that's worse. He has to score on his right foot, leaning back. You can see the frustration on his face. His heart, heart, skip, skip to beat there. Ball. Terrific. Stopped by Freddie Flintoff. We'll be hearing about that all night. The night I caught up with Usain Bolt. Oh, Lee Mack. Like Harrison. He's done well, really. Now Redknapp. Going for goal! Oh, he's hit a post. Michael Owen! Never in question. Poacher's goal from Owen, and it's 3-3. Redknapp denied by the post, but nothing denies Michael Owen in those situations. Yeah, Redknapp was his third attempt. Took a little deflection there, which took it out of the reach of Byrne. Just see that off deflection inside the post, but that man, Michael Owen. Right place, right time. How many times did we say that throughout his fantastic career?
puts it into the empty net, 3-3. Three, three. And we are eight minutes away from a penalty shootout. That's it, but well, that's not it. Soccer Road 2018 finishes 3-3. Stand by for the drama of a penalty shootout in World Cup year. Play because somebody has decided uninvited to join in the fun and will be leaving us early. Usain Bolt with the first penalty. Goal. Come on, lightning bolt celeb. Where is it? A fantastic penalty. Right in the bottom corner, and here he comes. Come on, Freddie. Mm. He's my mate, Clive. Big Freddie. One of the great athletes scores the first penalty. One of the great cricket players will take the second. Andrew Freddie Flintoff for England. Against Nicky Byrne. Oh. And it's 1-1. Great penalty from Freddie. The biggest surprise is his shirt didn't split it up tight. The coolness there from Big Freddie. Ashley Fongo is going to take the second penalty for the rest of the world. Oh, just in off the underside of the crossbar. How much space there? Room for error for the Raksu boy. Great penalty, had a very good game. Fongo in that right back position, great penalty. Joe Wicks is coming forward to take the second England penalty. And he's beaten Nicky Byrne, and it's 2 2. Four penalties, all scored. Just waiting for the goalkeeper to dive there. Put it down the middle, good penalty. Kevin Peterson. And he's going to take the next for the World eleven. More and more pressure now on each penalty. And it's a good save! David Harewood beats it away. First miss of the shootout. Well, let's give credit where it's due to the keeper. Brilliant save from Harewood. Ball penalty from Peterson, but the goalkeeper with a great save. The only way is right. Mark Wright is going to take this penalty with a chance to put England ahead. Ooh, little pause in the run-up, but advantage England. You can see what it meant to him as well. Little pause, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Look at what it meant to Mark Wright. He's happy with that one. Yes. 3-2, England lead. Four more penalties to go, and it's going to be Nicky Byrne, who has played outfield and has actually scored in soccer eight, to take the next for the World eleven. And David Harewood does it again! And England are on the verge here. They need one more. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Their great personalities, not very good mathematicians. But this is match point, and it's going to be Paddy McGuinness. Let the boots see the ball. Nicky Byrne is all that stands between Paddy McGuinness and football legend. This to win it. Oh, he saved it. You tease, you tease. Stays 3 2, Paddy knows. What a shocking penalty. <laughs> Good save, though, from Nicky Byrne. It was a back pass, wasn't it? Well, Brendan Cole's got a job, but they still have to score. A pensive Brendan Cole against the hero of the moment, David Harewood. 
and Cole does score. But England still have a chance to win it. <laughs> Careful. Wow, that meant a lot to him. And to be fair, the pressure was on, missed. It was all over. And it's going to be Lee Mack. Well, he's made us laugh, made us smile so many times down the years. Can he put a big beaming smile on the face of his teammates? Lee Mack to win it. Oh, way wide! And the penalty shootout is 3-3. And it goes to sudden death. Oh, and he puts it well wide. Can you believe it? England with two chances to win it. And we're down now to the guys who didn't volunteer. Hayden Christensen, the Canadian actor, is going to take the next one. David Hare was looking unbeatable. Sudden death. Christensen way over. Another big chance this for England. It's 3-3, they're celebrating for a reason I know not. <laughs> Get the calculator out, boys. <laughs> They've still got to score one. They've still got to find somebody to take that penalty. It's, it's going to be Blake Harrison. Well, he was telling me that he used to play in a Sunday league team half a season, run by his brother with his dad as the manager, and they always chose him as substitute. He finished up running the line. There's a chance to come and make a name for himself. And score! And England win! Blake Harrison is the hero shootout he and David Harewood have edged it it's another England win at Soccer Aid and another dramatic win Blake Harrison remember the name but all he had to do was put it in between the pulse and he's certainly done it great penalty fair play well done to England look what it means to him he really wasn't looking forward to tonight. He volunteered out of the goodness of his heart because of the charity. He doesn't have a huge opinion of himself as a footballer, but he struck this superbly. What a penalty. Great penalty. Look at the celebration.